Your radiologist has recommended that you undergo an MRI-guided breast biopsy. A biopsy is when a small amount of tissue is removed from the breast to be studied under the microscope. Everyone you'll meet during your appointment is here to help your procedure go smoothly and to make you feel as comfortable as possible. Once you have checked in at reception and changed into a gown, you will meet your doctors who will be performing your biopsy, an attending physician who oversees the procedure, and a radiologist who is subspecializing in breast imaging. Your doctors will explain what will happen during the procedure, as well as the risks, benefits, and alternatives. They will ask you about any medical allergies you have, or blood thinning medications that you take, such as aspirin, warfarin, or Plavix. Once all your questions have been answered, you will be given a few consent forms to sign. During your MRI-guided biopsy, you will be lying on your belly. Before the procedure begins, you will be helped to find a comfortable position. Your breast will be compressed in a grid, but it will not be so tight that it's uncomfortable. You will be given the same intravenous dye that you received during your last MRI. Several MR images will be taken to identify the target area in your breast. Sometimes enhancement in the breast MRI is transient and doesn't reproduce itself on the day of the biopsy. If the area of interest is seen again, your doctors will proceed with the biopsy. It is important that you lie very still during the procedure. You will feel pressure and possibly mild pain. If you feel severe or sharp pain at any time, let your doctor know. After cleaning your skin, your doctor will administer local anesthetic into your breast. This will sting for just a few seconds. An incision so small that it doesn't need stitches will be made into your skin. Next, your doctor will insert the biopsy needle into the target area, taking additional MR images to ensure that the needle is in a good position. Then your doctor will take the samples. The actual biopsy takes about one minute. Then, the doctor will place a tiny marker, the size of a sesame seed, at the site. This marker is very important as it marks the location of the biopsy, information that is required if any further intervention is needed. After the biopsy, you will be able to move into a more comfortable position, and one of the doctors will put pressure on the biopsy site to help minimize internal bruising. Next, you will have a gentle post-biopsy mammogram, so the doctors can see the location of the biopsy clip and what changes were made to the biopsy target. After your mammogram, your doctor will speak with you to make sure you are feeling well and to answer any additional questions you may have about the procedure. Post-biopsy care instructions will be explained, such as keeping the biopsy site dry for 24 hours, and you will be given the instructions in writing to take home with you. Your full visit will likely take more than an hour, and your biopsy results will be sent to your doctor, who will contact you. The doctors at UCSF Women's Imaging are committed to doing everything possible to ensure that you are safe and comfortable and that you're an informed participant during your biopsy.